Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day wherever you are. Don't forget to drink your water and stay hydrated. Um, in today's video, we decided to do a car vlog um, and we wanted to talk to you guys about the truth about IVF from our perspective. makes us like or it has made us a lot more aware and careful about the way we talk about things to other people and just in general um for instance like i feel like a lot of people uh say you know like oh do you guys plan on having kids like when you talk to other couples um and we would never say that or i would never would you ever say that no and and one of my buddies is um has not said anything about having kids and years ago I think I had brought it up or asked and at this point like going through all the stuff we, we've gone through I wouldn't bring it up anymore because they know our journey and so if he did need to reach out he would probably talk to me or something but no longer I'm be like oh you know you guys need to you know are you guys planning on having kids or any of those things like that because we don't really know what other people may be going through or dealing with behind closed behind doors. closed doors yeah and not everyone and not everyone is as open as we are I feel like we're like we're like overshares but like a lot of people like to keep things private um, and that is one of the things that people do keep private especially if yeah. they are going through something I think that's one of the reasons why I felt like so strongly about sharing publicly like our journey and our IVF journey All right, or if they are pregnant they won't say anything for four, three four five months maybe longer sometimes too yeah so they could be pregnant and everyone's no nope, not saying anything Right, or they could have gone, had like miscarriages. It's just like, you never know what people are going through these days. And I feel like having gone through IVF, IUI, um, miscarriages, ectopic pregnancies. I mean, you guys know if you've followed our journey for a while, like we've kind of been through it all. And so I think we're just very careful about the way that we um, talk about things. <laughs> I hear you back there, Snowball. Uh, so yeah, I think it's just made us a lot more like sensitive to others I think another thing it's done for me is uh, made me like for one I feel like it's made me a lot stronger as a person because I have gone through all of that and I feel like wow I'm a badass for having gone through everything that I went through but I also think and this is the truth like this is like um, the tea about <laughs> all this is like um, I and I talked to my friend Brie about this is like it's kind of traumatized me and I know that like that sounds like really dramatic um, but I think that like it's it, it's made me really emotional like um, to ha like now to have to be putting myself back in through going through this um, and I'm like I'm getting emotional like even like talking about it because I feel like it like brings up like feelings but like I almost feel like I might have like a little PTSD from like everything that happened like emergency surgeries like I had to go through and ha like the, the, the she, has a lot to <laughs> she has a lot to say about this situation she's like mom stop complaining like get over yourself I'm here things are good okay let's move on with our lives is that what you're saying snowball <laughs> she's the smartest out of all of us um and I know honey but oh you drop your water do you want that um, but yeah, like I didn't think that, I mean, I know I have PTSD from my car accident, but I think that I might, and I don't know for a fact, this is me like self-diagnosing, self yes. But it also just because my friends have brought it up to me and a, a couple people in the comment section also, when I was like talking about everything, um, were just saying like, stuff. So I get really emotional, um, and like sensitive. We're almost here. Verbal right now. I know. 
That this it's this just, is definitely when you're a parent. This is definitely not screaming. Yeah, that's it not could screaming. A hundred times worse. <laughs> yeah. So she's just making baby noises and eh. she's just frustrated right now with yeah. something, and I'm not sure what it is, but that's why she's like, it's like her way of like letting us know, like, listen, I'm not super happy right now, and if you don't fix whatever the problem is that I'm having, I'm gonna be screaming pretty soon. That's like what she's. That's what I think she's telling me right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that I am a little bit traumatized from the whole situation. I, I do not, like I said, this video is from our perspective, my journey. This has nothing to do with anyone else's. Everybody has their own journey and their own experience with like IVF. But for me, even though it is like an amazing thing and I'm so like honestly have no idea how grateful I am. Without IVF, I would not have snow. And so I am so grateful that I did it and I'm doing it again. But it has definitely given me some issues um but at the same time it's it's also I feel like made me stronger and I know that kind of contradicts what I'm saying but it but it could be both you could be stronger through something and also be broken by something you know I don't know I hope that I hope it makes sense what I'm saying um because uh it's very hard for me to explain things sometimes um, so, so that's some of the, some of the things, um, what are, what are, I think another thing, and I'm just going to be honest again, this is just the truth <laughs> of our IVF experience is that, um, honestly, like certain parts of it, like the shots and all that stuff, like it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I feel like it, it looks worse than it is. Like when I posted that picture of like the mil the million shots that I had to give myself and all the chemicals I put in my body and drugs I put in my body and how they like made me hor like crazy and everything. Um, I It wasn't that bad. I think there were other things that were way worse. Like the IVF process is way worse. I think emotionally it was worse for me than like physically the pain, um, if that makes sense. And then, um, what about for you from like the guy's perspective but my perspective is now I'm you know 41 years old and this is my first child my first kid and everything and I think that the biggest thing is you know my whole life I'm so cautious and so careful and when you're younger you have this ideal plan you say I'm gonna be you know whatever it is but you say I'm gonna be married by 30 and I'm gonna have two kids and I'd love to have a boy and a girl and it's just kind of like you know goes that way and nothing in life goes as planned so you know I'm careful I'm cautious you know I have all these you know different girlfriends over the years of growing up and stuff and you did yeah I had like one <laughs> and a half <laughs> one and a half no, but you just, you're, you're cautious and you're careful and you sort of have this master plan and you're like, I've been so good and, and I've been waiting for like the right person and to be stable and have a house or what, whatever it is that you kind of have in your mind that you think that you want to do or accomplish or whatever before you have kids. And then you're like, great, like we're ready to have kids and it's like, whoa, 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 I don't think so. It's not going to be that easy. And you're like, oh my gosh. I thought when I was a teenager, if I looked at a girl wrong, I'm gonna get her pregnant, you know? And then of course it's hard, like later on, and it takes years, and it, and it takes, you know, all these procedures and processes and stuff. So it's kind of like, okay, wow, well that really wasn't in the, the plan. You know, that was like not what I thought at all. And um, and then although, um, obviously we're extremely grateful for this, the science and, IVF help and everything else too. I think, you know, we're bummed or I'm bummed that we can't, you know, I'm like super natural person and I, it's like a bummer that we can't just be normal, you know, I guess like normal people or something. Well, you're and, normal, honey. It's me that's not. Well, but we're married and we're together, so we're a team and everything. So I think that obviously like I'm, so, I'm so grateful that we, we have what we have and like meaning science and stuff like that to like help out but obviously like this is one thing we just like to be like a normal couple and yeah we wish to... that we didn't have to do IVF yeah. but we're also very very grateful that it exists because like I said without it we wouldn't we wouldn't have our baby I'm gonna get a little bit little bit detailed in with like 
people that are spiritual and God and all that stuff. I was just going to say, like, people think we're playing God. I was no, no, literally let, just I'll, thinking, I'll, I'll, you I'll, tell them your part, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna, tell them I'm going to say, because the, this, I believe in God, and so this is my take on some of this stuff. So, if you really think about it, and let's say that you believe in God or whatever, and you have a, an idea that he plays parts in people's lives and kind of helps out or takes things away or brings things into your life or whatever you want to say, you know, doing this just because we did it does not guarantee. Like, we were very fortunate that we were left with one embryo and then one embryo actually attaching and growing is not, like, common. A lot of times it doesn't just happen on the first one. People usually have multiple embryos, etc. But the fact of that it did happen, it did attach, it did work, and through the process and everything else, like, if you want to talk from a God perspective, you could say, He's the one that like put like ultimately put the egg and the and the sperm together to be able to grow and it it's it's a lot of working processes and parts and moving things to make a child start to happen and so many things can go wrong in so many different points along the way that it's you know, some people, it's like, oh my gosh, I got accidentally pregnant on my very first time I had sex. Some people, it's like, yeah, it's so easy, but mm -hmm. there's a lot that needs to happen to make a child happen, if that makes sense. Yeah. A lot I of things think, can like, go wrong. To sum it up, basically we're saying that, like, to any religious people, like, we've had a lot of people say, like, um, you know, we're not real parents because, I mean, like, ridiculous things we've gotten, right? Like, yeah, the comment section can be stuff. crazy. Yeah. But we've gotten a lot of people be like, it wasn't God's will for you guys to have a kid. Like, why are you trying to play God? And all these different things. And I just, to me, I just say, like, I know a lot of people that have done IVF and it didn't work for them. And if it was, if it was, like, God's will for us to not have a child, we wouldn't have we'd snow have right child. now. Yeah. yeah. This was, like, all yeah. God's work with like snow being our miracle baby and I feel like like I said if, if God didn't want it to happen he wouldn't let it happen it doesn't just just because we decide just we're gonna because, pay 30 grand yeah. to do IVF and get my eggs and his sperm together in a petri dish and then put it inside of me that doesn't mean it's just gonna automatically give us a baby yeah. if it, there's yeah, so exactly. many people this, this does not work for and we were so fortunate and lucky and blessed that it did work for us um, and that I think is it's God's work yeah. would you not agree no I totally agree and I mean because if you you have to have that mindset to take it in all aspects of life or all aspects of parts and different things of life if somebody got cancer and they did all of these things like themselves and they cured their cancer are you gonna say like that God's will was to give you cancer and die and you played with God because you took extra vitamins and got healthy and that's not God's will I mean you could because if you believe that then you could take that into all these other aspects of life yeah and uh, so anyways anyway yeah, I feel like that. so so yeah and then I think the last thing that I'll say and this is me just being really truthful and it's really hard for me to admit this because I, I it, it just doesn't sound good coming from me but like having have done IVF and I again I have to just reiterate that this is my experience and this is not everybody's experience that does yeah. IVF it's our, 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 own our beliefs personal perspective yeah, yeah. Um, and this is me and I don't know if Travis feels the same way or not but I no matter how hard I try not to whenever like I see other people getting pregnant naturally um, it stings like it hurts a little bit you know and and not because I'm not happy for them but it's because it makes me sad for me I hate like it makes me so sad like I want to cry because yeah, they're on a different journey no I know and like I'm not way. like I'm not like it's not that I'm jealous or anything like I'm very happy for them yeah. I just wish that like that could be our experience because we want another baby so bad and we don't know if that's gonna happen yeah. And we're so happy that we have snow, but like, you know, it just like, it hurts. Like it, it still really hurts to like not be able to just know that like, oh, we're going to have another baby. Like it's just so easy for most people. They're like, oh yeah, we want to have like two or three kids and like, yeah. you know, and it's like, that's not the case for us. Like we wish that it was, but it's not. And so it just, that hurts. Like, and it's still really 
it's like emotional and anytime I have to think about it or talk about it or even like thinking about IVF or hearing IVF even now that like we had a successful baby through IVF like we're you know we want to still expand our family and so it's just it's hard because we don't we don't know if that's gonna happen or not even though we're yeah. gonna do everything we can to try it's just like so sometimes when I hear people are like oh I'm pregnant like for instance I have a friend that is like oh I'm I you know she just announced that she's pregnant again it's just like like I said it makes me sad but not not that I'm jealous or like you know envious I'm very happy for them it's just it's an internal thing it's like I'm sad for me it makes me sad for me it just was a reminder for me like oh I can't do that you know what I mean like and it's yeah. a very different like <laughs> difficult journey so anyway we I have know. this amazing little yeah. one <laughs> and we're so grateful and she's so special she's our little face. miracle and we love her so much um and so we're very happy and we are reminded yeah. every day every time I look at her I'm just like reminded how lucky we are that we were able to have her because I know still for <laughs> some people they're not Yay. they're still trying for this and they don't have it and so we're very grateful and we love you very much oh yeah so anyway, that is um, the truth about IVF from our perspective. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, learned something from it, um, you know, whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching. We're sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy. We hope to see you in our next video. Mwah. Mwah. And you know, we'll be here tomorrow. Will, Will you? you? I've been dreaming about you Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel